Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, November 25th. It's just about Thanksgiving. We need to make some pies. What we're going to do today, we're going to make two different kind of sweet potato pies. One's going to taste like the traditional holiday pie and one's going to taste like ice cream. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh out a couple of these smaller ones. So there's about six pounds. We need about four pounds. I imagine once we get the skins off, and I'm going to take the tops off where we started making slips. Let's get these washed up. I'll get them in a pan. We're going to go ahead and bake these. You can boil them if you'd like. Some people say you lose part of the flavor. I'm going to go ahead and take the slips off. And that's all it takes. We're going to go ahead and put these in the oven for about an hour, an hour and a half, and we'll be back. It has been just exactly two hours. Look at that. Been just, oh, that is just perfect. Fork deep. Now to peel these, now these are going to be pretty hot. So peel them. I like to use two forks, but it just comes right off. That skin just comes right on off of there. See how easy that peels off? See that skin just comes right off of there. Okay, what we're going to do... Alright, we're going to make two different kinds of pies, but the very beginning is exactly the same. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blend this up and get the strings out and then we'll measure up quantities. Alright, and then what I do so it doesn't get too messy is just start off with the regular potato masher and our recipe is based off of one pound of sweet potato per pie. take your spatula and go down the sides. Now one of the observations that we've made, we've been eating the great big ones since we harvested, the long thin ones seem to have fibers in them. These bigger fatter ones seem to have less fibers in them. That's just been our observation. What we're doing here is using the beater to remove any fibers that may be in there. And they will stick to, and there's just a very few little fibers in here. And we're thinking it's going to be about half of this. Let's see what we got there. And that's a pound and a half. Let me put a little more on there. And there we go, two pounds. What I was going to do is show you exactly what two pounds looks like as far as a measuring cup. Well, we'll go through here and see exactly how many cups. That'll help our measurement. Now most anybody that does sweet potato recipes and tells you about it is pretty much by feel and by taste. So this is an experiment on quantity. Now I know I don't look like anybody's grandmother, but grandmothers are who taught me how to do this. They just didn't take the time to do the measuring. So there's three cups. So it kind of looks like two cups equals one pound. Because we have four cups here, and we have two pounds. So you need about two cups of cooked sweet potato for every pie you make. Our goal is four pies. We needed four pounds of cooked sweet potatoes. So we started with six pounds of raw potatoes. We baked them, we skinned them. There's some juice that came off that was in the bottom of the pan. Two cups equals one pound. That six pounds reduced right down to four pounds of whipped cooked sweet potato. Now we're ready to start adding the other ingredients and we're gonna make our pies. Okay, we're gonna make a traditional pie and we're gonna make one that's a little less traditional. Okay, I like to break up the I like to mix up the eggs, but we're gonna go ahead and add the butter first. On this recipe, we've got two pounds of cooked sweet potatoes. We're gonna add a stick 
and a half of softened butter and we're going to want two eggs per pound so we're going to add four eggs beaten. Now take your mixer and go ahead and scrape your sides we want this all blended well before we add our dry ingredients. Alright, with this, in this traditional one, we're going to use nutmeg, cinnamon, and sugar. We'll have one cup of sugar, we're going to have one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of nutmeg. Go ahead and pour that in, and we'll go ahead and mix this up. So what we're going to do, we're going to add just about a tablespoon. This is pretty strong. So there's one tablespoon of lemon extract and we want the dominant to be the vanilla. We're going to add one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract. You want this to come out just about like cake batter for this recipe. Now as grandma says you want to put you want to do the bottom of the pie crust A little trick she taught us. There's one. And then we'll cook all four of these together. They all cook at 350 for about an hour. And we'll see what we get. Okay, let's go ahead and make our second. Now remember, this is two pounds. We're going to make two pies. So this is four cups of cooked sweet potatoes. We've already blended them. We've already removed the large strings, if there were any. And we're going to go ahead and add the ingredients and see if we can't get another pie going. So this is not quite the traditional. This is going to taste more like ice cream. We're not going to have the cinnamon or the nutmeg. We're going to add all of our wet ingredients, loosen it up quite a bit, and then start adding back in the dry ingredients and make it, stiffen it back up like cake batter. Now a lot of recipes that call for milk call for canned milk and that was because of the war effort in the 30s and 40s, the depression and the war when they used, they couldn't get cream. So we're going to use cream instead as our liquid. We want to have one stick of butter, just added two eggs one stick of butter soft melted we're going to use a cream now this is going to be kind of loose a little more and as you're blending obviously you want to scrape the sides from time to time okay we're going to add some more cream we we need this to be quite a bit looser than it is Okay, let's go ahead and add our sugar. I'm going to add just a little bit of flour. Go ahead and mix this in. And now the ingredient that's going to make it taste like ice cream. I want two tablespoons of vanilla. One tablespoon per pound. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is the one. We really like the traditional sweet potato pie, but this is amazing. All right, let me get this in a pie crust. We'll get them in the oven. And like Grandma said, always poke the bottom of your crust. All 
right, now we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 for about an hour, and we'll see what we get. Well, the top two appear to be done. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to let these cool off before we can cut them. There you go. Two kinds of sweet potato pie. Well, Grandma actually says you're supposed to let these sit and cool, but I can't wait. <laughs> Serious now. <laughs> wow. It needs to sit up a little bit, but this is fantastic. So, Grandma's recipe always comes through. Oh. And this is why we put all the time in out in the garden. From my family to yours, Happy Thanksgiving. And remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. That is terrific. Honey! You better get in here. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.